of the really cool things that Google Forms has is add-ons that work with it. So that way, if you're having people sign up for things, they can uh, have the options go away once they've been selected. So if you don't want people to bring in multiple of one thing, you can actually set up your form so that way it'll disappear as an option once people have selected that. So to do that, we're going to start a new form and you do that by going to the apps button or the waffle and then selecting drive. And then in the upper left hand corner, you get new. And once you click on new, you can get to then more at the bottom. And if you come to the top of that next window that opens, you can click on Google Forms. Google Forms will open up and you can set up your Google Form uh, so that way it can be a title. So I'm going to do sample survey and then I click on the top and it'll save it for me up there. I usually do last name, first name as question types, which will change to a short answer. That way I know who's submitting what. And then I'm going to click the plus button to add a question over here. And this is where I can put materials. So these are the materials that I want people to bring. If I want someone to bring 12 plates, uh, and if I want someone to bring, if I want 36 plates, I can show you how you can do that where you can have it be selected three times before it ever disappears. Uh, so 12 plates, I can then also do 12 cups, I can do napkins, and I can do, uh, let's go with uh, forks. Uh, these options lined up over here. What I want to do first is if you don't see this puzzle piece, this is where your add-ons will all kind of uh, collect, is come over to the three dots over between where your picture is for you being logged in and send. When you click on that, you can come to the bottom option, which is add-ons. When you click on add-ons, it brings you into all of the add-ons. And you can play around with these and some of them might fit what you want to do later on, but for our purposes, you can just type in choice, and you're going to want the one that says choice eliminator two. And it'll look like this blue plus sign over here that says free. And if you click on that, it'll bring you up to one of these pages that says uh, allow or deny. What I want you to do is you can choose choice eliminator two, the one that I have added. So if you went back in here and you just typed in choice, it's if it's not just showing you're going to choose choice eliminator two and you can hit the, the add button there. Once you do that, it'll show up under this puzzle piece. When you click on that puzzle piece, you can then choose choice eliminator two and then hit configure and it will open up in a new page or a little window over on the right hand side of your form. And from here, you, if you have multiple questions, they'll line up here, which ones you want to have disappear or not. And you can click on materials and then you can click on whatever it is that is the question, and then you can click eliminate choices, the box. And it'll go through and it'll create, and it'll make your question required. That way they have to answer that. And it gives you the option right here of this gear, and you'll know that it's uh, good for choice eliminating when it turns red, the symbol next to your question, and you get the green gear. Click on choice options, and this is where if you want to get, let's say, 36 plates. Uh, right now it'll say limit one. So what I can do is I can say I want to limit that to three. Napkins, I'm going to leave at one. Cups, I'm going to leave at one. Forks, let's say just three for the sake of it. And then once it's down here, you can do close this box. You can restore all of the choices. So if you want to use this form again later on, you can use the same one. And you can just restore all of those different choices. You can get questions from the form, or you can add more choices. Uh, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to close this. And then I'm going to close this over on the left, or on the right. Uh, and then I'm going to send the form out. What I'm going to do is, for our purposes, I'm just going to copy and paste it in here. And let's say that I chose 12 plates and napkins. I'm just going to choose napkins for this one. Uh, and I hit submit. And if I look at another response, napkins is now gone because I chose napkins. If I chose plates, not once, not twice, but I chose it three times. When I go back, now plates is now gone as well. So three different people have chosen plates. And when you look at your survey or your form, you can set this up as a bunch of different options. You can set it up as uh, instead of just being multiple choice, it can be a drop down menu, it can be check boxes. You can make that. And then if you look at your responses, it'll tell you 
what's picked. It'll look at individual ones. And you can always make a spreadsheet of those results so you'll know who picked what if they fill in their names.